Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, the artist Kali. You're not rocking with the homegirl, Gina Hills, on Life and Entertainment. Yeah, this life and entertainment. This life, let them take a picture and frame it. That's right, this ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, people, we yeah. made changes. Yeah, this life and entertainment. This life, let them take a picture and frame it. That's right, this ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, people, we yeah. made changes. It's your girl, Gina Hills. And in each episode, I'm going to introduce you to gifted individuals from around the world. Come along as they share their stories in intimate moments while giving you, the viewers, an all-access pass. And here's my next guest. Mirror, mirror on the wall Tell me who she, tell me who she is Cause I be looking like a goddess every day of the week And I will shout it out That I'm loving me It's so easy Cause I don't worry about what people may think Yeah, when I look in the mirror Sunday, thank you so much for being a special guest on Life and Entertainment. How you guys feeling? I feel really great right now. Oh, I feel really great right now. Um, just relaxing right now. I feel the same way. I feel good. Well, I wanted to ask you guys, what inspired you to sing? Want to go first? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what inspired me to sing was my family's support. Like, whenever I would do family events, they would always be so proud of me and so, like, you know, moved by what I can do with my voice. So that just kind of, that just kind of pushed me to be like, okay, I can really do this professionally and I can move and make other people, you know, feel emotions. Mm. What inspired me to sing was, of course, my family, and I was going through a rough time. Um... I was like three, four years old, and I just found out that I was diabetic. So singing was like a really therapeutic thing for me because I was like, I don't want to, you know, be crying over, you know, this illness. I want to, you know, do better. So singing just really helped me throughout that. Oh, wow. And so how did you cope with uh, being a diabetic? It, did you have to change the way you eat? Mm -hmm. or Di Diabetes is a 24-7 thing. I can't, you know, take a break from it. Sometimes it is hard. Sometimes I don't feel like taking my medicine, but I know I have to. So eating healthy is really important. Taking my medicine is really important. I can't eat certain drinks. can't drink certain, certain drinks, and I can't eat certain things, but I have to cover it. So it was honestly like a, I don't know. It was just, it was just a lot to change. Okay. And um, and does it affect your singing at all? Um, it can at times, especially like when I'm performing. Um, if I'm really high, the energy can take away from. I can be like low, like okay, I don't feel like doing this. I'm really hydrated. I really need some water. Or when I'm low, I just don't feel like doing the moves full out because I can pass out from it. So it has its ups and downs to it, but I think I manage it really well. And what about you? How is it for you with your partner? Also. A beautiful voice, may I say, that both of you guys have. But how is it for you knowing that, you know, she has diabetes? And how is how do you assist her? Well, you know, when it comes to Chelsea and her diabetes, I feel like whenever we're in rehearsal, whenever we're in practice, I if Chelsea's not feeling well, I can always see it in her face and I always make her the priority of rehearsal. We could be in the middle of running our show. If I see Chelsea's, like, not feeling it, then I'll literally, I'll, I'll tell our, like, choreographer and everything I'm like hey I'm like we need to take like a five or a ten and Chelsea needs to go check like her blood sugar she needs to eat something like I always try and make sure that she's good so that when we perform our performance is amazing I love it okay so for the young kids coming up that may have diabetes what would be some of the pointers that you could tell them about it um, I just want to say keep going if you have a passion. Don't let diabetes, or not just diabetes, don't let this illness or anything that you deal with, don't let that stop you. Keep going. And, yeah, 
yeah, that's all I got to say. Just keep going. All right. Well, even though I don't have diabetes myself, I will say just from like me and Chelsea's relationship, I think it's also good to have someone there with you, like a mm -hmm. friend to always be by your side whenever you're going through things um, with your health. And I feel like it's just very beneficial. Wow. So how did you two become a duo? Okay, so we met at this performing arts camp. I know everybody said it. Everybody has heard this a million times, but we met at Marietta, Georgia, performing arts camp. We were the youngsters in the group, and our creative director was just like, okay, since it's a duo week, duet week, we are going to, you know, put them two, you know, with each other, and we proved it to him, and he just kept giving us songs week after week, and we finally became a duo. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, you guys. <laughs> That is so amazing. So, whose idea was it to audition for The Voice? Well, it wasn't really like something that came from, you know, the inside of like Hello Sunday, like the inside group. It was more so something that they reached out to our manager and was like, hey, we've been seeing the girls around, you know, so we like want them to um, audition for The Voice. And we were all kind of like, whoa. Well, we didn't know that they did. <laughs> right. So it wow. was just, it was amazing. It was, it was like mind blowing. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what were your emotions when Kelly Clarkson pressed the buzzer? I was honestly grateful at that point because we were getting scared over there. I was like, nobody's turning. What are we oh, going to wow. do? We didn't want to like overdo it because a lot of stuff could go wrong. But then we didn't want to just, you know, stay at the surface level. So we had to like keep our emotions in and just keep going no matter what happens. But when she turned, it was like <laughs> the golden ticket. Oh, wow. Um, I'll say that I didn't even notice Kelly turned until I, like until I opened my eyes because I I kind of had a feeling that once I like once I hit that big note and got to the really big part one of them was gonna turn so I was like close your eyes don't look because I know if I looked then I was gonna mess up I was gonna be so excited. I was the one that saw it I was Aww. like look out cause here I come. <laughs> <laughs> that is too cute. Okay, so the buzzer was pressed. She turned around, loved you guys. After the show, the emotions, can you describe to me what went on behind the scenes after your performance, after Kelly Clarkson? It's a good one. I, it was honestly a blur because so much was happening at that moment. I couldn't like. There's not really a word to describe the feeling. I know it was, it was <laughs> super califragilistic expialidocious. Hey, that's a yeah. good one, girl. Wow. Okay. I love it. Again, I want to thank you guys for coming on to Life and Entertainment. It is such an honor. And you guys are such a blessing and inspiration to people. I just want you to know that. And you keep moving forward. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Okay. So, my next question uh, to you guys would be, what are some of the words of encouragement for their careers coming up, young and old, what can you tell other people to encourage them to keep continue on following their dreams? Um, one thing that I'll tell, like she said, anyone that's trying to pursue their dream, whether young or old, just be confident in yourself no matter what. Like, if you make a mistake, be confident in the mistake that you made and move on. I mean, like I say... Practice doesn't make perfect, it makes better. But if you continue to practice and you continue to get better, you'll get to a perfect that you feel like it's perfect for you. Mm. I feel like um, just for people that just wants to pursue music, I feel like don't don't go by what he or she says. Mm. Be confident in your own choices because I had a tough time on the voice saying I was like, oh, but I want to please this person. Yeah. I don't want to, I want to please myself first. Yeah, that's a good one. That is so good. So, can I hear a cappella? Maybe just a little? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been so into your mystery. Craven.
giving that synergy. Don't be afraid to tell me if you ain't with it. You ain't with it. I see you focusing, you're so inhibited. So inhibited. It's hard for me to open up by the minute. You are so soft to say, and I'm in a listen, so baby, tell me where you love a lot. Tell me where you love a so, where can we purchase your music? On all social media platforms. On social all media. Social <laughs> media, digital, all of that. I mean, it's, it's on. It's on tech. It's technology. So it's on iTunes, Apple Music. I think it's on all digital platforms. Yeah, it's on yeah. all of it. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, so much for being guests on Life and Entertainment. You have such an amazing voice. I am so honored. Keep moving forward, and I have a gift for you guys. Ooh, I like Wait. gifts. Wait. I like gifts. <laughs> I like gifts. It's just Thank a little you. shum shum. You just know, I'm not balling or anything. <laughs> you know, but to show my appreciation and how proud I am of you guys to keep moving forward, this is for me to you guys here. <laughs> it, I will ruin it. Right, and you in your room, your hotel suite, you better put a little bit of that in your bath water with some little Ooh, stuff. I feel need good, some okay? Ooh, uh, nice. Soak it up, okay? Dang, you just got all the makeup. Uh, you know what? First you of all, some... you got the whole makeup. Yeah, you got the kit. I got the brush and the lip gloss. Right, oh, yeah, you like the lip gloss. Yeah, <laughs> don't tell nobody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.